Hi guys, welcome to the channel or vlog. I want to see if there's a little birdie outside. I don't want him to stop chirping, but he does chirp a lot. He's very chirpy. He kind of like follows me around the house. I woke up like just before five and I went to the, the bathroom and he found his way near the bathroom window so that he could chirp. Anyway, I take it we want a message. Let's do a Sunday service and um, we'll see what all the chattering is about. Okay, I feel like having a look into, um, we've got the everyday tarot and I felt like let's have a look into next week, see what next week, um, see what's on the cards for next week. Okay. The Empress is on the cards for this upcoming week. Okay. See, stop chirping now. Oh. Okay, I'll get on with the message. Okay, so it felt like, what are we kind of focusing on next week? And it was the Empress energy. Why? Because it seems like the Divine Masculine is quite busy working here. He's turning his back on the connection. Um, and on turning... Oh, okay. And he's turning his back on turning... It's like his emotions into messages and there's conflict. So that might be why Divine Feminine... Um, no, I was actually going to like split the split the week because on Wednesday it's the last day of June and Thursday we turn into July. So um, <clears throat> wind's just picked up out there. That's the energy. Okay. And the underlying energy was focusing on the divine feminine, the Empress. Let's carry on. Find feminine recognizing your own worth. It looks like he is having a look at the cup. So this could be towards the latter part of the week when we go into um, into July. So I'm feeling like for the remainder of June, it's not really looking as if the divine masculine is looking in your direction or wanting to communicate about his emotions. Okay, you focus on you, Divine Feminine, and um, on recognising yourself, not needing another to recognise you. The masculine here is being offered. It does look like um, he's actually having a look at this carp. Okay, so this is his single status, and he's actually having a look. It's, I feel the masculine's happy to be single, okay? He's not really wanting to discuss his emotions, not with the divine feminine. He's not wanting to discuss this connection just yet. Uh, but it does seem there could be a turnaround later on in the week. For the nine of cups to be looking at this one cup, which will make the ten. So he's happy on his own, which is a good state of being to be in, okay, he's not putting his attention on you, Divine Feminine, he's putting his attention on himself, as you put your attention onto you, Divine Feminine, it kind of, um, <clears throat> I feel like he feels something's missing, he's been so busy, that he hasn't really, uh, I feel realised that when he kind of takes a look, I don't know, I feel like your energy's there, because you're focusing on yourself, And then it's like he transforms and you're here now. So like he actually comes to you. 
And then we have the lovers, which is a nice uh, picture to look at with the lovers in it rather than the devil energy. I feel like this card's going to fall. Okay, it felt really, it felt like the card was coming out of my hand. Okay. I'm going to spin these around. I'm spinning around, move out of my way. Well, let's have a look into this a bit more. The Three of Pentacles. There's two uh, wise ancestors who are with who are with the Divine Masculine here. They're like looking for some kind of offer, but he's preoccupied. He's too busy tapping away at this. So let's have a look at this energy. Three of Pentacles. You are collaborating with others and creating synergies to, to achieve big results. You balance the wisdom of the experts and the new ideas of the novices. I actually feel like the Divine Masculine, he's kind of, he's the expert um, in his own department and he's working on that to try and create, uh, he's creating synergies. So it feels like he's networking with others. So that he can achieve big results. So it does look like the beginning of this week, the Divine Masculine is busy. Like I said, the ancestors here, they're kind of like, he needs something to produce. So they're waiting for him to come up with the goods. And it, it's like he doesn't have the goods at the moment. Not for you, Divine Feminine. But it's like he has his own, uh, he has his own lot to take care of. Then we have the Devil energy. Major Arcana. You are aware of unhealthy attachments, addictions and dependencies that are affecting you. You may think it is hard to let go, but it is easier than you realise. Let go of fear. So we have been picking up this addictive energy that the Divine Masculine has had towards the Divine Feminine. I feel like he's maybe become a little bit dependent upon her. So he's like going solo for a bit and sorting out what he needs to do. There is a quietness here that comes uh, through from the Divine Masculine. So it's easier than you realise to let go. Even though he thinks at first it's hard. Okay. Well, he thought it was going to be hard, but there's a surrender here. Messages. Lots of birds. <laughs> well, there's two in here, but um, there are. Lots of birds that are sending out the messages. The Eight of Wands. Everything is moving very quickly right now. Go with the flow and use the momentum to fuel positive change and create big results. Travel may also be in the cards. And then we have conflict here. So you can see that the Divine Masculine, he's... Um, He's like focusing on his own life, um, dealing with this conflict. What is the conflict? You are surrounded by conflict, disagreement, competition and infighting. Everyone is actively voicing their opinion but no one is listening. Listen carefully to each person or simply remove yourself from the drama. Okay, we're going to have a look at this first. There's some, uh, there's some karmic cycles here. Not just one, there's a few karmic cycles that need to be wrapped up uh, by the Divine Masculine and, so that he can move on, move forward. Let's see what the angels and ancestors would like to say.
High Priest. Intend and create. What a fantastic card for you, Divine Masculine. The underlying energy for this week is the lovers. <clears throat> we'll read that uh, that message for the lovers before we move on. You have a beautiful soul-honouring connection with another. You successfully integrate dual forces into a unified state. You have a choice of the highest... Oh, you have a choice? You face a choice of the highest moral grounds. Hi, Jasper. You're coming up, darling. Come on in. Okay. Recognise that you have the power to change your life. Face your fear and align with the light. In many traditions, the high priest is the physical embodiment of the divine masculine. He acts as a bridge between worlds and is able not only to divine the future, but to help create it too. He may be a leader in his spiritual tradition or in pagan traditions be second to the high priestess, but he is always spiritually connected and disciplined with great respect for his creator and his particular practice. In a reading, this card can represent a spiritual figure, leader or teacher in your life or an aspect of your path that has led you to where you are today. Okay, the extended message, you are a bridge between heaven and earth and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have been some setbacks, but accept these as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energy, energies towards what you want to grow, heal and expand. And then watch it happen right before your eyes. So know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies towards that, what you want to grow, heal and expand. Here's your ancestors here. <clears throat> and then watch it happen right before your eyes. Well, let's go to that part then. Okay. Watch it happen right before your eyes. Let's put those out. <laughs> Jasper. Jasper. Jasper, come on, darling. Jasper, come on. Come on. Come on, darling. You're going to have to get down. Which way? Go onto my chair? Onto my chair? It's like I'm not above you. The screen? Okay. You're going to come down, darling. I know. <clears throat> what that is on there? <clears throat> Back onto my cards. Hmm? <laughs> so it's like a scattered energy. Let's leave that over there. <laughs> okay, you can see. Well, let's get comfortable, Jasp. Good boy. Stir off the table, please. How come my table's all dirty? Okay. <clears throat> let's look at the Six of Wands. You are feeling confident, self-assured and successful. This is you, Divine Family. You are proud of your achievements and are ready to shout them from the rooftops. The people around you recognise your success and cheer you on. Now this is your Divine Masculine recognising your success this week. 
Four of Cups. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Offers and opportunities are flowing to you. But for now, you're saying no. Contemplate your next step and focus on what is important to you. Okay, so for now, he's saying no. But it does feel like he's uh, he is looking in your direction now. Nine of Cups. You are deeply satisfied with everything that you have. The planets have aligned and you have everything you wish for. Count your blessings and express gratitude for what you have created. So, the latter part of the week, it looks like the planets are aligning. Okay. So count your blessings. The planets have aligned and you have everything you wish for. Okay. The death card. Transformation. You are going through a powerful change and transformation. There are parts of your life that are falling away and dis dis oh, disintegrating, making way for new opportunities to emerge. Feels like it's a big week for the Divine Masculine here. Feels like as things that are no longer required um, for this new life uh, fall to the wayside. Let's have a look at the angels and ancestors for the divine. I feel like this is the, well, let's just have a look. Latter part of the week. The hunter. Track down your fears and desires. So divine feminine, you look in a really good state of being. Uh, not just to yourself, but your divine masculine can see that uh, you're in this balanced state. So the hunter, track down your fears and desires. Comes after the high priestess. It comes after the high priestess. Well, we have the high priest <laughs> and the hunter comes after the high priestess. The high priestess. Track down all of your fearful thoughts and feelings, and when you find them, you will find your desires to Jasper. <laughs> he really wanted to, he was gonna like take a sprint across my table. Sorry, boy. Okay, it's a little uh, distracting. The hunter card is based on my favorite Celtic god, Saronus. He is the stag god of the wild and represents both the hunted and the hunter. Similarly, the hunter helps you connect with an energy that is both fearful and fearless. Your fears are the only things that are standing between you and what you desire at this time. So you have to come face to face with them, as the hunter does with wild animals, and go beyond them. The extended message. Instead of being hunted down by your fears or other feelings that you have buried, become the hunter. You are being given confidence and strength at this time. So use your power to make a difference. So Divine Masculine, you're being given confidence and strength at this time. So use your power to make a difference. You are not here to cower away or live in the shadows. You are here to realise your fullest potential. But this can only occur when you step up and do what needs to be done. When this card arises... There could be an opportunity to face an aspect of your past or bring closure to a situation that has been haunting you. If you are a man or identify as male, this card represents your masculinity and an opportunity to know yourself more deeply. If you are a female or identify as female, this card represents your capacity to be strong and powerful and overcome limitations. Masculine, opportunity to get to know yourself better. Divine Feminine, opportunity for you to be strong and overcome these challenges. Wow. 
I was having a yawn, a stretch. <laughs> That's what the silence was. Jess, I'm going to carry on. You can come up, darling, but you just can't go walking all over the table. <clears throat> the Enchanted Map. Okay, well, let's just um, put this to the side. I'm not going to clear that away. But I think we can kind of see what the message is. And what's going on. And I say, hey, 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 I said, hey, what's going on? Okay, let's have a look on the enchanted map. Unexpected visitors. Card number 41. If you expect the unexpected, you'll be prepared for miracles. Detours, surprises and paradigm shifts. Expect the unexpected, no matter how detailed your plans are, and how clear you believe the road ahead to be. There are times when the best plans are waylaid by unforeseen circumstances. At first, detours may seem inconvenient, but a surprise turn of events signals that the adventure of life is beginning to get interesting. No one can plan for synchronicity, for fate and destiny to meet, except spirit, who knows what you can't comprehend for now. Life is full of surprises, so stay on your toes and enjoy this exciting new adventure you weren't expecting. There is a plan for your life and you okay. There is a plan for your life that may not match up with your agenda. Paradigm shifts. Okay. A surprise turn of events signals that the adventure of life is beginning to get interesting. Get a doggy out there. It was a birdie earlier. Okay. I'll get some daily guidance from your angels. here. Yeah, how many? Four. So this could take us up really if we have a look four days uh, until we kind of uh, we reach July. Let's have a look then. Uh, today's guidance? Family. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart, surround this person, yourself and the experience with calm in blue light and many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation and allow yourself to feel peace. So as you can see, the Divine Masculine, I feel, is sorting out some family issues. It's a family affair. Monday. Let your past go. The burden of carting your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and it's now gone. I feel we're talking to you, Divine Feminine. Let your past go. So you're good to let your past go. As um, The burden of, burden of carting it around has made you weary, Divine Feminine. Let your past go. The Divine Masculine at the moment is... Uh, this is what he's going through. So we don't kind of like need both of you um, going through this. It says you don't want it or need it and it's now gone. 
So let the past go, Divine Feminine. I feel like this is for that. I felt today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms and heart to our love and assistance. So it feels like Tuesday's energy. Let's see how we're wrapping up June. Heart chakra. That's nice. Tapping into the heart. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the centre within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. I feel like this is the planetary chef seal. Okay. Opens up your heart chakra. Let's get a new message. What's going on this week, Romy? <clears throat> Passion for purpose. That's the card that I saw. Let's have a look at which one wants to come out. Whirling goddess. Number 13. What's up, Jas? Okay, let's have a look at this message. Lose your head. Not a single thread that has a head can go through the eye of a needle. Rumi. Come, my love. Are you dizzy yet? If you can still find your feet, then, then that is okay with me. But if you can still find your head, then I will take issue. There is a great dance, but it cannot be danced with choreography, choreography steps. No, this great dance demands a response rather than an initiation, a reaction rather than a direction. So let us dissemble and lose our heads to the great music, the rhythm held steady in our loving hearts. Our feet shall be moving whilst our minds inadequate to the task, take the night off. There is somewhere you are meant to be. It is here, now, in this moment. There is a gift right under your nose and fragrant wine in your glass, gleaming red as the most precious rubies. To be here, now, you must pass through the keyhole. But your head will tell you this is not possible unless the door is unlocked. Even though your body is passing through the keyhole of that locked door into the endless world beyond. Leave your mind to be in its struggles for a moment. Without you laying witness to it, your mind will become like a dog howling for his master's return. Even as he steps out the front door. Frustrated temporarily, he will chew on some shoes, then fall asleep peacefully until his master returns. So leave your mind trusting, chewing a little, until you are truly through the keyhole, when it can rest. Leave it be. Instead, come dance with me. <clears throat> this oracle brings you a message. You are at the point of growth where your mind can hold you back rather than urge you forward. If you have, like so many, used your mind to support you, to shore up your sense of self in the world and to gain a sense of certainty about how the world works, then this is no easy leap. It will seem as though you are being asked to pass through the keyhole. Of course, your mind will stop and argue 
for all the reasons why the door should be opened instead of remaining locked, instead of remaining closed, making the task seem so much harder than it needs to be. But this is the mind in resistance. Don't place too much stock in the claims that life should be other than it is. You are being asked to dance rather than understand, to lay the thoughts to rest and to come alive. It is the bravest, most trusting soul that dares put the mind to one side and say, tonight we dance, my heart and I, in the great rousing music of the beloved's beating heart, and I will not miss one step. And to awaken the next day and do that all over again and again and again. You are ready, you see, sweet soul dance dancer. Sweet soul dancer. You are ready, you see, sweet soul dancer. You are ready to live beyond what you know. To have it not matter if you don't understand how life can work itself out or how it could be that someone so normal and ordinary as you and I could also be so magnificent, wild and divine. The need for answers and plans, assurances and explanations is passing out of your world now. You are not to wait for permission, for explanation or even for another dance partner, for I am already inviting you onto the great dance floor. You are to let go of any stigma around not knowing. When someone asks you what you are going to do next, or how you are going to manage, you are given the divine, you are given this divine mandate. With relish, reveal the truth. I do not know. Know nothing and dance, sweet soul, for all will unveil itself to you in perfect harmony and timing. Your heart shall create the steps in response to the music of the spheres, happening now, alive and spontaneous, and free. This oracle brings you a special message. If there is an issue, apparently unsolvable or unknowable, in your life now, the divine is handling it. The divine is in the middle of it, working through the knot and unravelling it. Fear not. Do the sacred ritual and give yourself permission to take the night off from worry. Repeat this heavenly prescrip pres prescription daily as needed. Okay. So fear not, do the sacred ritual and give yourself permission to take the night off from worry. Repeat this heavenly prescription daily as needed. Okay, here is the sacred honouring ritual. Say aloud, I give my heart permission to lead this dance. I give my mind some time off, no more worry or doubt, planning or resisting. Instead I surrender. Instead I open. Instead I allow. I allow. I allow. And all unfolds with perfection, divine timing, and the miracle of grace. With Rumi, as my sole witness, so be it. You have completed your honouring ritual. And I have completed this Sunday service, which looks like um, it's really kind of some insight on what to expect this upcoming week. Guys, have yourself a fantastic day. I will catch up with you soon. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.